Hey everyone, I'm Debbie Adler, award-winning cookbook author, owner of Sweet Debbie's Organic Cupcakes, and founder of Plant Powerful Life GPS. I teach people how to optimize their long-term health and well-being by transitioning to a plant-based lifestyle. Thanks again for being here, for watching my last two videos in this series, and for all your questions and feedback. I love hearing from you. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains has been scientifically proven to not only prevent disease, but also reverse it as well. We now know that cancer, heart disease, obesity, diabetes, and many, many other health issues can be nipped in the bud if you make the switch to eating plant-powerful foods. And if you're in great health now and you'd like to keep it that way, a plant-based lifestyle helps ensure you stay that way. Now, I'm originally from Queens, New York, as if you couldn't tell, and my family ate the standard American diet. We always had a piece of steak, veal, chicken, or fish on our plates with some vegetables and rice or a potato. Lunch for me was always a big vat of dairy yogurt with wheat germ sprinkled in. That made it even healthier. And soon, I developed cystic acne, and I had no idea why at the time. And by my late teens, early 20s, I was 20 pounds overweight. I would get exhausted just playing a half hour of tennis or walking around the block. I mean, what's up with that? Then after I moved to LA and got married and had my son, I experienced some difficult events that I speak about in my first two videos. And as a result of these events, I was introduced to the China study. Now this book details the science behind the havoc animal protein wreaks on our bodies, and it makes a strong case that switching to a whole foods, plant-based diet can help reverse and even eradicate certain diseases. So, inspired by this, I eliminated animal products, dairy, gluten, and refined sugar from my diet, and I am leaner and more energetic than ever before. I run, do yoga, Pilates, row, bicycle, and ballroom dance, and feel better now than decades ago. And as an added bonus to all this, I'm happier. I mean, I used to walk around with a dark cloud over my head, like a low-grade depression that I couldn't seem to shake. And what I realized is, it's not only important to nourish your body with good food, but it's equally important to nourish your mind with good thoughts. Now, some of you wrote in with questions, so I'd like to take a moment to answer some of them now. Now, Jess asks, how do you get complete nutrition on a plant-based diet? And if I don't eat meat or fish, how do I get my protein? Okay, I get asked this all the time, and I'm happy to tell you that it is very easy to get a full range of vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, omega-3s, everything you need by eating a plant-based diet. The only vitamin that you can't get naturally from eating a plant-based diet is B12, but you can find B12 in nutritional yeast and fortified cereals and non-dairy milks. So even that's not an issue. What people tend to do is think of oranges for vitamin C, tomatoes for lycopene, kale for lutein, and so on and so forth. And this is not the way food works. Foods should have a full range of nutrients. Each one has an immense array of vitamins, minerals, and protein. There's protein in lentils, in chia seeds, quinoa, hemp seeds, chickpeas, black beans, even in lettuce. As a society, we tend to get obsessed over how much protein we get, and we really don't need that much. As a matter of fact, we get too much. Now, Elizabeth asks, how do I get my family on board with this lifestyle? Yeah. I had this problem. This is a big one for a lot of people. So this happened to me when I told my husband I was going plant-based and he poo-pooed it at first. And you know, I tried to make an argument for why I was doing it, but then I decided instead of fighting about it, I was just gonna start making the most rad meals he ever tasted. They were all gonna be plant-based and I didn't say anything. I just served the food. He really loved what was on his plate, so he didn't complain. So we didn't have a fight and I sort of won. Now, Lisa asks, how do you eat plant-based all the time and not get gas? Good question, Lisa. Sure, when you start eating more vegetables, legumes and fruit, all of which contain a lot of fiber, the tendency will be an increase of gas in your system. But as your body gets used to this new intake, which you should increase very slowly, the gas will subside. Also, rotate your vegetable category. So if you had cauliflower one night, don't have broccoli the second night since both of these are cruciferous and tend to produce more gas than other vegetables. There'll be foods that always create more gas for everyone, such as beans. I highly suggest you soak them overnight. Rinse them 
and then when you cook them, add a strip of kombu seaweed. This helps improve digestibility. Also, as the beans are cooking, skim off the foam. This helps degas the beans as well. Minea asks, how can you make plant-based meals simple and doable with a busy lifestyle? As I'm sure a lot of people are wondering the same thing, I think it's important to get organized. And by organized, I mean planning a few meals ahead of time on the weekends and then batching them. This leads to less bitching later in the week. Then you can just heat them up, you know, make a quick salad or soup and dinner's on. Also, you can even take part of the pre-prepared meal to work and heat it up there for lunch. So you've got that covered as well. To make things even more efficient, make a big salad on Sunday and that can be one of your side dishes or even a main course during the week. All you have to do is add some toppings and healthy dressing and you're done. Now Becky asks, how can I make this kid friendly? Now I make this kid friendly every day, Becky. I have many recipes that kids love. There are lots of spreads you can make and have your kid dip carrots or cucumbers and celery into it. It's not just a food, it's an activity. And I make fruit, fruit skewers for my son to take to school. Take five uh, toothpicks and stack them with grapes, strawberries, blueberries, whatever in season. It's so much fun. You know, kid friendly and plan healthy. I make a mean green mac and cheese with homemade sea cheese. I mean, what kid won't like that? I make a lot of muffins with fruit or veggie purees in them for moisture and nutrients. I'll make sure to give you some in the download section. Melissa asks, what spices and condiments can I use to make my veggies more tasty? Now, I love building flavor without salt. It's my personal mission every day to do this. The first thing I suggest is squeezing lemon on salads, rice dishes. It adds a brightness and even has a salty essence. I also use limes for Mexican food in my salsa and guacamole in my rice dishes. I also use a lot of cumin for Mexican and Indian dishes. And I love smoked paprika as an addition to whole grains and to sauces and soups. A splash of vinegar also adds a lot of flavor to, uh, to veggies. I use zest. I love sauteing mushrooms in a little bit of water and that brings out the natural juices. Then I use this meaty broth so to saute vegetables or make soups with. And, and this is how you win, folks. By transitioning to a plant-based way of living, you have infinite choices for meals. Your health will improve because inflammation in your body will decrease. Weight management will become a cinch and you'll begin to feel younger and, and have more energy than ever before. Now in my course, Plan Powerful Life GPS, I navigate you through my system step by step so that you end up on the other side with the proven tools you need to incorporate all aspects of a plant-based lifestyle into your everyday. You'll get exclusive recipes not available to anyone else with the nutritional content, the most up-to-date scientific information, and downloads that you can print out in every single module so that you can easily go back to the material when you need to. Most of the recipes I'll be teaching you are from my new cookbook, Sweet, Savory, and Free, that will be published by the publishers of The China Study, coming out in a few months. And you'll get three amazing bonuses, a meal plan with grocery lists, 28 days of smoothies, recipes, and my download, The Key to Youth, can be found in your baking tins. Now, if I tell you which spices and superfoods, I tell you which recipes to put them in. So you'll get all those recipes from my award-winning cookbook, Sweet Debbie's Organic Treats. In the next day or two, be on the lookout because you'll be getting an invitation to join me in my new course, Plan Powerful Life GPS. So please remember to live insatiably, forgive lavishly, and love ferociously, especially yourself.